Hi everyone, welcome to your weekly reading for July 22nd through July 28th. I'm back with another pick a card. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. My name is Jasmine Sheree. I'm an intuitive messenger. Leave me a thumbs up, like the video, and leave me a comment below. Let me know how this week's video resonates with you. Also, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for um, different types of videos that you would like to see me cover, okay? Let's hop right into it. Today I have on my... um have my yellow scarf back on him more than a while so maybe um i'm feeling that um everybody probably needs to work on their sacral chakra this week because i have this not sacral um solar plexus your solar plexus chakra s-o-l-a-r solar p-l-e-x-u-s plexus chakra nonetheless um so this week we have pile number one here for what you need to know with the carnelian we have pile number two here with the clear quartz pile number three here with the black tourmaline so take a moment take a few deep breaths to experience which message it which message is for you and pick the one that you got it to the most Number one with the cornelian, number two with the clear quartz, number three with the black tourmaline. Okay. Hopefully you made your selection. If not, feel free to pause the video. Um, okay, let's put two, three there and two there. I want to turn this way a little bit more. And... Let's put one here so you have the carnelian, the motivation, the focus, the determination card, the grounding card, uh, crystal, I mean. So let's see how that plays out in your reading. Okay, first of all, you have the fool card. <clears throat> um, but you also have daughter. The answer to your question involves your daughter. Instantly, I feel that some of you need to be brave this week in your attempts to, I'm feeling heavily, create a better life. In your attempts to create a better life, you need more bravery. You need to take more risks. What can you do this week differently than you've done for the past six months? What risk can you take? How can you challenge yourself? Because the fool... It's almost, it's almost like an aimless car, but more so than aimless, it's more like a bravery. It's like a blind faith. The faith that children have. And I say this all the time. When we're kids, we just jump off of things. We slide. We swing. We get on the seesaw. There's this children, instead of operating out of fear, they operate out of curiosity. They're so curious that they don't have time for fear. There's a playfulness to their energy. It's not about everything just being so serious and all the dots connecting. I'm so curious to see how this goes. I'm so excited about the experience. I'm just going to do it anyway. Right? That's the attitude of a child. And that's the energy that you have to be in this week, that you need to be in this week to maximize this week and to maximize your life moving forward with this fool card. You need that type of curiosity. It's not about knowing the how, but it is just about enjoying the ride, enjoying the experiment. So this week, number one, I highly invite you to take a risk. I highly invite you to challenge yourself, put yourself to the test, try something new, start something new. Uh, for those of you who've been wanting to start a business this week, it's time. The how, it doesn't matter. Figure out what is step one and do that. Um, and then always go back, ground yourself. Every time you get ready to take some sort of action, you want to ground yourself. You want to take deep breaths from your stomach up through your lungs and your chest up through your head. And then you hold it for a few seconds and then you release it out of your mouth. So you breathe in all the way up through your nose, up, 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 up. Hold it, release it slowly out of your mouth. Do that a few times before you get ready to take your action. Again, go sit in grass, journal in grass, um, meditate, whatever you need to do to ground your energy. 
so that you can take the action. If you have carnelian, you can use this in your journaling. You can use it in your meditation. You can carry it in your pocket this week. If you don't have it, you can go purchase it. This is just a suggestion, right? Um, so, yeah, challenge yourself this week. That is what Spirit is asking you to do, to take a risk. Um, some of you have children already. So there's a lot on your mind. And you're trying to just figure it out, like the support system and how you gonna figure it out, how you gonna work it out, how you gonna take care of big children long term. And it is through this brave action that you will gather the solutions that you need. That's all number ones. <clears throat> Number two, you have the clear quartz. Again, this is sort of an all-encompassing crystal that can represent a lot of things, a lot of purity, a lot of pure energy, a lot of good cleansing energy with this crystal. So let's see what you have for this week. Eight of Wands, fast moving action. What's going on with y'all The number ones? Very, very, very similar energy because for your oracle, you got children. So I invite you to probably look. You probably was torn between choosing number one and number two. Much of the same energy. <sighs> mm -hmm. Got the eight of wands. This is um action. This week you are invited to take your action to a greater level, your commitment to a greater level, your commitment to your vision to a greater level. Like spirit is literally calling you higher. And you cannot do that. It's not the time to fear. It's not the time to back out. It is the time to be brave and curious and excited for the experience of. It's not about... Um, Again, much like number ones, it's not about connecting all the dots. It's not about knowing all of the answers, but it is about capturing the opportunity. The way, like I said with number ones, the way that children are. Children are brave. They are excited. They're so excited about the experiment, about the experience of sliding down a slide or swinging on swings or going up and down on the seesaw. They're so excited about the experience, they don't have time for the fear. It's like the fear is almost blocked out. And that's the energy that you have to be in this week, number twos. Curious. You need a curiosity for life because opportunities are coming at you fast. These are opportunities that you have manifested for yourself. And when we get, oftentimes when we get what we want or when we can see it almost coming in, we start to then resist it because then we get afraid of our own success or just, you know, we start, why me, how can I, and we get into our heads, into our thought space, right? And so we energetically put up resistance. So it's like um, self-sabotage um, because we're operating from ego. And ego, while it's not necessarily a bad thing, um, you have to know when you're operating in ego and when you're operating from a heart-centered space. You got to know the difference. You have to become aware of that. And I always tell people, your ego is like a thermostat. I don't know who I heard say this before a while back, years ago, but somebody described it like a thermostat. And if you go to your home, you set your thermostat to a certain uh, temperature, say 70 degrees. If you cook or if it's really cold out or you open a door or a window or something, then naturally the temperature will increase or decrease however it will always adjust itself back to the degree that you set it at right because that is the status quo that's where you set it so we operate in the same sense when we are operating out of ego whatever standard we set for our lives whatever limits and belief we told ourselves whatever story we have said about our lives whatever standard we have set whatever status quo limitation we set for ourselves if we try to rise above that our ego will bring us right back down to status quo oh you're not ready for success 
you said you were afraid, right? Because energetically you're putting out fear, right? So you you hit that resistance point. So you have to move forward from that. You have to be gentle with your ego. It's not about being upset with yourself. Why am I so scared? You have to be gentle with your ego. Ego, it is okay. Ego, it is okay for us to rise, right? You have to use your willpower to take this action anyway, right? Build that momentum to keep going, to keep moving forward. Right? Because children, you got to think as a child, because you may not know everything you need to know right now to move forward, but it's still the right time to move forward. Children learn so much. They have to learn so much. They got to learn how to tie their shoes, ride bikes, like all of these things that are seemingly difficult at first, but they don't give up, right? Eventually, they tie their shoes. Eventually, they ride their bikes. Then next thing you know, they're riding their bikes without, um, what you call it, um, Is it the brakes? You you never, you know, when you take your training wheels off, right? And then you're riding big bikes, then, you know, so on and so forth. Um, they're learning ABCs. They're learning how to write. They're learning how to read. They're learning life, right? And um, if they don't always know the how, right? They just have to keep going and keep going, keep taking that action. Every new grade, every new lesson, they're absorbing, they're learning, they're implementing. That's much the same. We can really learn a lot by studying children. That's what Spirit wants you to know um, this week. That these opportunities, these learning opportunities that are coming for you, be brave and take action. Take action this week. Do not let the opportunities pass you by number twos. Keep your energy pure so that you know that you're taking the right action that is in alignment with your highest good. If you have clear crystal, you can um, carry it with you. You can put it in your pocket. Ladies, you can put it in your bra. Um, you can meditate with it. You can journal with it. Um, just have it on your altar space. If you have it already, if not, you can go purchase it. It's just a suggestion. If you don't have it, it's okay. All right, that's it, number two. Whew. Number three, you have the black tourmaline, which is a very, very powerful protective crystal about protecting your energy and absorbing any negative energy. Just sops it right on up, right? So get that, carry that with you this week. If you don't have it, go out and purchase it. If you can't purchase it, it's okay. Just make sure that you are praying for divine protection around you, around your energy space, around your home, around your family um, at this time. What do you have here? Oh, you have strength, okay? That leading into that, that divine protective energy. You have strength and assertiveness. Wow, that's powerful. Wow, number threes. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. Much different from number one, number two. Number one, number two is very similar. Um, you're breaking away from something. You're breaking some sort of cycle at this time. Or life is doing it for you naturally. Um, but you are going to build and maintain the strength to see it through because it is much needed for you at this time some of you are in the relationships where you feel that you your voice was not heard and you're finding your strength this week to move past it some of you already have ended this relationship but somehow the remnants and the remains and it's something that's still lingering in the energy from that you're finding your strength this week to fully let it go to fully accept the fact that it is over so that you can breathe again and move forward with life um you're saying no to your emotions, right? Um, and your thoughts, because they can have us all over the place. And you're saying yes to your heart's desires, yes to your inner peace this week. Um, and again, carry that. Get uh, If you can, get this black terminal. I mean, they come in all shapes and sizes. This is a really small one. You can get this to... Um, you know, absorb, like I said, that negative energy and to pr protect you and bring that protective energy around you and around your energy field. Um, what else is going on with number threes? 
you're really just going to you have not felt in your power you're really going to feel in your power this week number three so it's going to be a sigh of relief from the past few weeks for you male or female you're embracing your inner power this week in, in various situations it looks good for you it looks good on you okay um pay attention to the number eight 88 888 this week um those are all signs of strength and abundance um anything else i'm picking up from these cards for number threes this week um I'm hearing the word overcome. Again, similar theme though. You have the strength to overcome the space that you're in, this energy. Watch, if you have not watched my video, what the hell is going on with me, or what the bleep is going on with me, um, go to my channel page and uh, find that video. It's the video right before this video. It's called What the H is Going On With Me. And I feel that you can find some clarity there. But whatever this energy space that you're in, you're coming out of it. Look at this assertiveness card. You see this fairy busting through what seems, it's like she's busting through a tree, right? And a tree is like solid, like something that's rock solid in your life, right? In this example, anyway. And this is how powerful this person is. She's bursting through. But not only is she bursting through, she's, it's like the, the saying, let's thrive, not just survive. Like she's bursting through with all of this beautiful, powerful, radiant energy. Right, so it's not it's not a sad energy here. This is true power, divine power that is upon you this week. So be glad, be grateful, embrace it. Try to get this crystal to um, help you through this week. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the eights and the eighty eights and the eight eight eights, um, and be excited. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. That's all I have for everybody this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back this week with another pick a card. Again, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to get to them. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great week. Peace and fairy dust.